How addictive is marijuana? Is it as addictive as heroin, leaving people on the floor clawing their eyes out for just one more hit? Or is it as addictive as sugar, where people can't seem to put the candy bar down? Addictions can be related to a lot of different things, ranging from food to everyday objects. Basically, anything that makes your brain release dopamine can be addictive, and that's why we have shows like My Strange Addiction. Now, for something to be classified as an addiction, it has to fall into two of the following five categories. First being the inability to consistently abstain, impaired in behavioral control, craving or increased hunger for the drug or rewarding experience, diminished recognition of significant problems with one's behavior and interpersonal relationships, and a dysfunctional emotional response. So how we're going to break this down is first by going over the studies that kind of show how addictive marijuana really is, and after that we'll conclude if it's serious or not. For those who don't know, when you smoke cannabis, it tells your brain to release dopamine, which is your body's reward system. That dopamine helps generate a pleasurable feeling that causes people to get hooked on the drug. Now, according to a study done by the National Survey on Drug Use and Health, they found that 9% of people that take marijuana become addicted to it, and those numbers only seem to rise in adolescence, basically people under 18. In 2014, about 4 million people in the United States were stated as abusers or were dependent on marijuana, but only 138,000 people voluntarily sought treatment for marijuana use. So to say that marijuana is not addictive is just not true at all. People have gone through some mild withdrawal syndromes. Frequent marijuana users often report irritability, mood and sleep difficulties, decreased appetite, cravings, restlessness, and slash or various forms of physical discomfort that seem to peak in the first week after quitting and sometimes last up to two weeks after that. Whew, that was a lot of research. Alright, so now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and break all that down and conclude if the addiction is something to be scared about or not. First, let's take the number of people who are soundly addicted to marijuana, which is less than 10%. Now that number is far less than other legal drugs we have on the system right now. For example, we have tobacco, which is about 32%, heroin 23%, cocaine 17%, and alcohol 15%. Now I don't really remember me anyone telling me, hey, if you go out with your friends and drink a couple times, you'll get addicted. That just doesn't happen. To size that up with other legal and non-legal drugs, marijuana finds itself at the bottom of the chart of addictiveness. To make this point even clearer, the nonpartisan National Academy of Science Institute of Medicine released a multi-year, million-dollar federal study assessing marijuana and health in 1999, and here's what they had to say. Millions of Americans have tried marijuana, but most are not regular users, and few marijuana users to become dependent on it. The investigator added, Although some marijuana users develop dependence, they appear to be less likely to do so than other drugs, including alcohol and nicotine, and marijuana dependence appears to be less severe than other drugs. This brings me to my next point, addressing the withdrawal symptoms that people face when they're trying to quit marijuana. People report irritability, mood and sleep difficulties, decreased appetite, craving, restlessness, and various forms of discomfort. These reports make it by default in the mild withdrawal symptom category. That's the lowest one. There are three different categories, mild, moderate, and severe. On the far end of the scale, you have severe things like alcohol and heroin, where people just can't seem to drop it no matter what they do. And on the other side, you have caffeine and sugar. Do you see the difference between those two? Lastly, I'm going to go ahead and address the number of people reportedly needing treatment for abuse of marijuana. That number is just about 4 million, which is significantly lower than alcohol treatment, which is about 17 million. That's over four times the number of people. Now, according to the state and national statistics, up to 70% of individuals in drug treatment for marijuana are placed there by the criminal justice system. That number is entirely due to the adverse of the drug court sentencing minor pot offenders to rehab in lieu of jail time. Not very surprisingly, out of those in treatment, some 36% have not even used marijuana in 30 days prior to the administration. Remember guys, these are the same people who are supposed to be dependent and addicted to the drug. So in conclusion, is marijuana addictive? The answer is quite simple. Yes, but it isn't any more addictive than caffeine or sugar. Just like anything that can be addictive, some people can abuse it, and that's what causes harm to both the body and mind of the abuser. Marijuana is far less addictive than both tobacco and alcohol, which are completely illegal in the system right now. Instead, marijuana is in the same category of addiction as heroin.
There are some real cases of people struggling to quit their addiction with marijuana, and that needs to be recognized by everyone. But comparing to marijuana to other Schedule 1 drugs and not allowing it to be legal because there is a chance someone can get addicted to it is pretty far out there. There is a greater chance of you getting addicted to sugar than someone getting addicted to marijuana. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you dislike it, that's what the down area is for. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to look in the description down below as I put all my citations so you guys can go ahead and search it up and read up on this own because you know, honestly, this information is quite A1. So as always, if you want to see my last video, go ahead and click there on the screen and I will see you in the next one.